Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episodes 3 and 4 of To Your Other Self. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I thought it was going to stay on there longer. Because the one who's closest to them is the one who's like... The, I forgot his name. But it's that one guy. See, I feel like this show, even though this came out in 2005, it's very similar to um, Science Gate in the mysterious, the confusion... <laughs> Because we're only three episodes in as of today. And I'm still thinking about, like, is from last week. And so this is the type of show that every question that I have answered... This is kind of also like Penguin Drum in a way. Because Penguin Drum is what's still one of another confusing show that at first I was very intrigued. I wanted to know, but I was still confused about it. But then by the time you get closer and closer to the end of the series, you understand it a lot more. You look at it in a different way. So this is going to be one of them shows that, yeah, by the time we get to maybe the halfway point or to the end of the freaking series of this, maybe I'll understand a little bit more. Who knows? I mean, still, I'm, I'm so confused. Really, really confused. Like, I think possibly even more confused than I was when I watched Steins Gate for the first time. And... I had people still explaining in the comments, like, as much as they could. But still, I was over here, like, confused as heck. And I was like, I don't understand. But then eventually I did. And sometimes I don't really like those shows. Because, so I, like, you know how when you overthink or, yeah, when you overthink, that's me. And I hate overthinking about certain shows too much. Like, mm, I don't always like to watch a show that's going to make me think about stuff so much. <laughs> No, 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 no. And here he comes. But it sucks that all the people who was closest it is him. See, if I was Haruka, I'd just leave you in the dust. I'd be like, mm. You don't want to come? Let's just go. I'm going by myself. Can't get away now. Like that's gonna do anything. Because he's like, what's his face, right? I mean. Mm -hmm. Poor baby. Don't break his hand. Mm 
And I see the biggest thing is you want to know why him and you's other self have this falling out because <laughs> hopefully maybe there there's an episode and I'm guessing it's gonna be like somewhat from twelve to twenty four where we get to get that answer possibly. I don't know. Mm -hmm. While he's still knocked out. Yeah, I watch it fix up, please. Oh, oh my god. Want to talk about what just happened? <laughs> well, really, you, he's not after you, he's after Haruka because Haruka's a dragon torch, and we're still wondering what the heck that's supposed to mean. And it's something that is going to fix the balance of time. Whoa! Boom! <laughs> Type of guy who just straight up wants to kill these kids and be like, Yeah, I got this. <laughs> I'm like, Oh, what did you know? Where is it? Here's a dead body. But then it makes me wonder, if you as another person, shouldn't, like, everybody else in their friend group, and they're possibly all a part of this, except Haruka, because Haruka is the first to dragon war. Because maybe her other self sacrificed herself to become the dragon war? I mean, I guess I'm talking out of my ass right now, because I don't know. <laughs> No, it's going to be okay. I don't want him to let them go, but it might be the best thing. But still, they'll get hurt.
No, he's got to be dead. Maybe. Probably not. Who knows? See, you're fine. No one got hurt. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, wow. You're bleeding. Uh, no, it's getting into a hospital. And then it also makes you wonder what these two have to do with it as well. I mean, why are they searching for this thing? I mean, I don't think they're reporters. And if they were, reporters don't do it. It's like, <laughs> no, I feel like it's something. They're, they're a part of a scientific organization that they can't really talk about right now. But eventually, later on, we're going to find out what it is. She's just being a good friend. Now she's going to get hit by that car. Uh -huh. Yeah. I mean, you would think because he got pulled to the storm, it seemed like he died, he would stay dead, but um, that's a no. Yeah, so you should leave, regroup, and then come back in episode four. Oh, God. God, she's worse from Rufus and Gossip Girl. I mean, oh, my God. Well, yeah, but I, not all the time my parents are going to believe the things that kids say. But see, to me, it seems like maybe Kaisu and then several others. There's two types. Ones that want to protect the Dragon Torque, and then ones who don't. The one who has like the moon shaped look and hairstyle, like of course he doesn't want to protect it. He probably maybe wants it for his own reasons. Who knows? Um, while possibly the other half of the group just really wants to protect her. Because if they don't, 
the balance of the time, you know, it's just going to flow and it's just going to be all effed up. You know, Doctor Who, all the other time travel, other shows in a nutshell. Screw up the time. You just, mm, you don't want that. And then it makes me wonder if the kids are the only ones who can see them. It seems like the adults can't. Unless the two who are doing their scientific-ish possibly can see them, but they're just not saying anything right now. And you could just leave him like that. Well, that takes care of one. <laughs> yeah, that's because they got fixed. <laughs> Yeah, but I feel like by the end of this, you two are getting together. Well, at least she's determined. See, mom being a bitch once again. I get the fact that he has his studies and that in a way she's kind of forbidding her to see him, but still, they have to be together no matter what. Throw a walk at the window or something. I don't know. Find a rock. Or something that could just not really bust the window open, but just to like do a little knock and so that he could stick out. But he's already in trouble. I don't think you want to get him in more trouble on drugs. get there. Seems more like downtown than the pyramids.
don't go in there. No. Mm -hmm. But she's going to be stupid and she's going to go in there anyway. Or something's going to come out. One of the two. I told you. Or do you want something to eat? Here is the target. Bruh? What the fuck? I mean, but we all knew that. She just didn't know. But, oh, that's so mean. Who, why would you summon her and then try to be friends with her just to take her away? I mean, that's a little messed up, but I'm guessing now because of the fact that they're going to take her away. We might be able to see what the world is like in the future because in episode one, you see a little bit of it and it's more, um, I like to say post-apocalyptic. The world has gone to shit and it's never going to be able to come the same again but i'm guessing because of the fact is that they now have Haruka, um they could possibly make it right again but i don't think it's gonna happen in episode four because it's a 24 episode series and there is no way <laughs> excuse me there's no way that they're going to have something as simple as that happen in like the span of four episodes. I think that'd be too simple and too easy. They're going to stretch it out, and that's why it's like four episodes. If it was twelve episodes, something like this would have happened at least maybe like episode five or six, maybe then it would make sense. But because of the fact that something like this is happening in the first three episodes, it's not going to go the way that I think it is. But I think it's just, she's going to see the world in a different light. And she's going to be like, what do I need to do to prevent this? episode of the next week slapping the crap out of her. What happened? Did she do something wrong? Is it because of the fact that she's going to disappear and she's not really telling her friends, you know, this secret? I, I mean, but I feel like because of the fact that each one of her friends, plus the friend that is technically friends with her, but more friends with you, they all have something to do with this. So their other selves are also in this group. We probably maybe even haven't met them yet. Who knows? Um, but I mean, it just, it could go anyway. And still, this is just, like I said, it's going to be one of those shows that, um, 
if I, I want to say, because I feel like it's going to go like this. Let's say we finish it because we're going to finish this in like 12 weeks. So hold on. Taking away these two. So like, in 10, we got like 10 more weeks with the show. Um, this is going to be one of them shows because I didn't do it with Steins Gate. Um, I kind of did it with Monogatari and such that like um, once I finished each uh, arc of Monogatari, I went back. And I went to see if there were any, like, um, any videos on it explaining a little bit more in detail. And it seems like maybe this show might have a video like it. I, I don't know. But I don't want to go, like, if we're 12 episodes in and then look up because of spoilers. I just want to go ahead and wait until the show is over. Because I did that with Penguin Jam. I waited until the show was completely over. And any questions I completely had about it or needed to know that didn't get answered... I watched like a video about it and it made me understand the show a lot more. With three episodes in, you you understand the story a little bit, but you don't understand it enough to be like, this is where I feel like it's going to go. But, you know, one minute you understand it and then like a preview for the following episode, you're sitting here confused as heck wondering what the hell is going on. I mean, like I said, her Haruka's friend like slaps the crap at her. What in the world happened for her to do that? So, like I said, there's still a lot of unanswered questions, but... Yeah, we ain't gonna know until I watch episode 4. But yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 4. Okay, episode 4 in 3, 2, 1, go. I mean, I don't even want to call you a traitor, but... Yeah, I don't think that's supposed to happen. Okay, so it seems like Karasu and everyone else are the bad guys of this show, and this mask you know, is the good guy, maybe, or it's Flip. How oh, wait, so then we're okay. I, I don't have it. Um, you, you're just wondering, Hana, where the fuck is Haruka? Did Haruka go with them as well, or is Haruka still there? Or who knows? Like, hmm.
Yeah, for Tarika and everyone else. But when they get there, they're just probably going to see Hanukkah. Told you. <laughs> well, she didn't really run in front of you, she was just dropped. <laughs> yeah, he's not going to be there. But it's not a prank, though. No. <laughs> the water. Holes? Yeah, but okay, here's the thing. Let's not split up, okay? Let's just stay together. How do we got to do? Question eight six because one of them's dead. Oh, no, it would be seven. Yeah, not six. Mm -mm. Not you. I guess you weren't able to go in as well. Of course. Mm -hmm. Ah, puppy! <laughs> Me home! <laughs> Oh, I think I know. She likes me. Yeah. 
No, I, I felt like she... Uh, I mean, I don't think Miho probably has feelings for her. I, I mean, Miho seems like the type of girl that's like, oh, once a guy is kind of taken, she's just like, let me go plop. <laughs> She likes him. It's obvious. You can see it all over her face. So that's got to be the reason why she slapped Sadoka, maybe? Yeah, I gonna beat the crap out of Haruka. Mom, he was asking about you. Nothing over there now. And because of the fact that she's so absorbed into this, I she fell in some type of way. I get that because you know when you're in a group of friends and it's like that, yeah. But I, it's the truth, Now he can't go see her again. See, I, it's not what you think, you're just assuming.
Aww. Yeah, but I'm gonna see. Mm hmm. Oh my god, girl. No, honestly, did this solve anything? It's because I has a crush on him. It, I mean, it's super easy to put two and two together, but because of the fact is, you know, we're not thinking about that. <laughs> And so other girls will get jealous. Well, no, I or girlfriends will technically will get jealous when a girl who is them gets a gift or when someone is too close to a guy. It's just, you know, it's just, you can't two, a guy and a girl be friends without like anything, no relationship, nothing, like without being a boyfriend and girlfriend, like dang. That's worse than, like, if it's a cousin and it's your boyfriend and you assume that this girl who you don't know who she is. Freaking psycho. <laughs> She's your mom. Which you should. I mean, even though it's not your fault, it's really more of I's fault for assuming. So I should be the one to apologize, but still, you also hit her. So, I mean, apples and oranges. <laughs> Why does it look like it's only raining where you are?
the chicken. Now, bro, hold on. Is there a way that she could possibly change it by go looking for it for itself? Mm -hmm. To possibly repair her friendship with her? Even the dog says go. Yes. You know that couldn't be any other kid today. She'd be like, where the fuck are you? Like, we you going? Mm -mm. In the middle of the night, by herself, in the rain. There wouldn't have, haven't even been no questions. Like, no, you ain't going. And it's suffering too. There you go. So I think I, I think I understand something. Since she gets to see certain features, just like a little bit before almost something happened, so like a part she saw if I didn't find the um the cell shot, she still would have lost not only the cell shot but also Haraka and Fujiwara. But she's able to change it, and so there's going to be something like I said in the previous episode. She's going to see that future, and she's going to be like, hmm. I need to do something to change it to prevent all of this. So maybe I have to die or something. It's going to be something. Because it, it, she is the key. That's the thing. To make the future not be post-apocalyptic. Because her choices, the choices maybe her friends make, the choices possibly her family makes, Yu's mom, um, her friends, parents, any choices they possibly make will be maybe end up being that post-apocalyptic world because you know it's like how um it's it, it's like those books where it's like choose your own mystery or like when you're solving and everything and some people normally like just go to the end of the book just to see who did it or it's some of those games where you choose you're interacting with it or it's like um it's a couple they did that with a couple of shows on netflix where you get to choose how the story goes that's what it seems like it is, in a way. Except we're not choosing it. Haruka and then her friends, but mainly Haruka, is the one who's doing all of it. Wow. 
Why the fuck are y'all messing with a Ouija board? Okay. Um, nothing good comes with messing with a Ouija board. Why? <laughs> Why these kids are going to mess with the Ouija board in episode 5, I don't know. I mean, they're going to want answers possibly from the spirits, but still y'all going to bring some that y'all need to bring, and then you have a bigger problem. Somebody probably going to get haunted for the rest of their freaking life, and then who you going to blame? Somebody, but I don't know. I mean, there, there's still a lot of unanswered questions. I think mainly they're going to want answers, and... Possibly the Ouija board is going to give them something. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. It's maybe going to help them in the right direction. Um, the three who are with... The two who are with the guy with the blonde hair. Of course, now they're going to be the bad guys. Of, of course. Definitely. Um, so they're going to use the dragon for torque for their own reasons, of course. And so now it's another group that um, Katsu now has to deal with. Because he's already dealing with several things as of right now. But now here's another thing that he has to deal with, even though he doesn't want to. But I'm really going to know until next week to see how in the world this is going to turn out. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes 3 and 4 of To Your Other Self. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day during the Retro Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially on next Friday for Patreon. And next Mon- not Monday. Next Tuesday for everybody else for episodes 5 and 6. Bye, guys.